All right, got all this stuff today. Well, not everything in here, but all this today. And I remember staring at the ceiling, trying to deal with emotions and no more feelings. All I wanted was a picture on my All right, what is up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Legit, legit, beautiful day in paradise. So it's trash day out here on our side of the neighborhood. So we're planning on just going, cruising around the couple streets and just seeing if we can find any gold before our day starts. And then we're gonna head down to the beach. Sammy's gonna chill on the beach for a while. And I'm gonna test out the metal detector around Another hot day though, it's early in the morning and it's already steaming hot. So stay tuned, we're about to go look for some gold. Whew. All right, all right, not bad for a first little claimer. Nice little table, not bad, not bad. Shovel top handle. Some scrap dreams. Cord cut on that. That's weird. Cord cut on everything. Big clock. That thing can just stay there forever. Little quick glimpse of this operation. Persistence. Chance is always powerful. Let your hook always be cast in the pool where you last expect it. scrap here. Couple stools. We have a couple stools, but ruined. Ruined. All right, we're moving along here. We found a couple things. Nothing too great. Um, nothing really good at all, actually. But it was worth looking. You never know. You never know, dude. That Tony Hawk deck. If we never would have gone, we never would have found it. But gonna cruise these last couple streets and then we're heading over to the island and I'm gonna try out my luck with the metal detector and Sammy's gonna sit on the beach for a little bit. How's this house over there like this? Woo! Oh my god. That's so heavy. What's this little table here? Oh that's a TV. So like if I had a lot of money, see this TV right now? Okay, let's not even say a lot of money, but like if I had land and time, I would just collect every TV that I saw on the street and build like a gigantic wall of monument of TVs. And there's this one stunt that we saw where these guys from like a band or something they put all the TVs in a huge pile and then they took a car and drove through the TV so it was like, it was so epic. Actually. I like the Cedar Shake. But, maybe in the future. Hopefully the TVs are being thrown out still when I have time to do that stuff. What the fuck, that tree's weird looking. That tree's really weird looking. You know that tree that grows on the side of our house? Mm. Like on the, in that little area. That was all in that whole house. Cheese dog. Boys, cheese dog. Right. Some bamboo chairs. Super epic chairs, but we have no room. I wish we had a warehouse again. If I had more money, I wouldn't even spend it on, I wouldn't even do other things. I would just expand what I already do and just collect everything I could find and fill up warehouses and sell it. And just hire like a an expertise to like sort out the good mm -hmm. stuff and the bad stuff and then have another crew to throw the shit out that is not the nice stuff. Yeah, the like sellable just have, stuff. Like, just have like a, a donation lot where like people that I know that already want to give us stuff can just drop it off and like have like a little burner, like a pretty much my neighbor in Pennsylvania had this it was like a wood burning stove thing. It was like a huge thing and the heat would go to 
to the house. So he would heat his house all winter with just burning wood. So like think about all the wood that we've paid to throw out. But imaginary scenarios. For now. Certain people would want that though. Certain certain fan base for the lamp, that lamp. Alright, we're down here. Got to go on the beach, detect a little, see if we can find anything. Um, ready to go. Hooked up. I watched a little bit on this metal detector. This is the Prism 3. It's actually a decent, really nice machine. I just really wasn't aware of how to use it. Now I'm starting to see like you can really determine easily. It shows a picture of it. But like you can determine the different metals just by like well first of all you can turn off iron. You can turn off foil and then from there on it's pretty much the only thing that you're going to be getting is bottle caps and aluminum you come up different. So that's the junk and then everything else is like coins or other precious metals. So let's see. All right. Shoo. Been down here for like 10, 15 minutes, and first hit of the day turned out to be a Pringles can. So not very treasure like. Gonna take that to the trash though. All right. About to take these three packages. Just a three -er. Not bad. But a few claims that I was thinking of. Um, I was out there not finding anything metal detecting today. I had it set up so foil and iron were turned off so there was no hits. I had like a few hits. I literally found a F Pringles box somehow and there was a few other hits that I didn't really find anything. I was just didn't know if the metal detector was acting up but you can't think that way like oh I didn't find shit today I'm over it. You gotta think the only way to find treasure out here is to be out hunting for it. Like, you're never gonna find that diamond ring. You're never gonna find that Tony Hawk 1983 original skateboard sitting on your couch um, or hanging out in your house watching TV. You're never gonna find that dream unless you're out there hunting. So, you're winning every time you're on the hunt, is my claim. And like, didn't find much in the trash today, a few things, but we were out there hunting, you know, every day hunting, and that's the dream. So, just just wanted to make that claim. Stay on the hunt no matter what. Okay, back in the eBay room. Uh, just got an offer on the skate deck for 350, but I have it starting bids, starting at five. <clears throat> if I can't get five in the next few days, I'll take the offer probably before it expires, but um, don't want to lowball myself because obviously I just posted it less than an hour ago. If it already got an offer for 350, that means it's worth money, and I knew it was. It's posted other places for 12, so I put it right in the middle. Plopped, you know, posted some places for 250. Never the blight, never the light blue though. I've never seen that online yet. Uh, Increasingly realizing how badass this deck actually is, too. I cleaned it up a tiny bit, just wiped it down with wet towels. I'm like, the chicken skull? It's super, super badass. But, like, a couple people have messaged me or in the comments have asked how easy it is to start on eBay or how hard it is to post on eBay or questions about eBay that. Most likely I can't answer all your questions, but I can say from my experience, out of all the things that I do, all the things that me and Sammy do together, all the things that I've been doing for years um, with Craigslist, offer up, flea markets, yard sales, selling on our own online store, selling on Macari, um, selling you know, on any of these places or trying to make money scrapping the cleanouts, getting work, getting jobs. eBay has been the easiest to figure out and the easiest so far to make money off out of any of those. And I'm saying easiest on my body, you know, easiest 
learning curve because it didn't take me very long with the app to figure out how to post and I'm just going to show you guys a post of one item so this I figured would be an easy item because I like to know the name of what I'm selling and there it is right on the box the price is already right here you know that was brand new probably but brand new when in you know brand new in 2004 I'm not sure if they're still making this anymore so I'm gonna search it in used condition that's the first thing I do when I'm getting ready to post an item so I got the phone I don't use the computer I don't use any fancy cameras I don't even use my actual video camera to shoot the pictures I literally use the eBay app so you can download it in your app store I'm sure it works on Android it works on Apple usually this is Sammy's phone because um, this is what I've been using so this is what I'm just going to continue to use her phone kind of runs out of battery pretty quick uh, so I keep a cord right here a long cord plugged in uh, I don't know you guys personal preference but that's what I do literally I have it plugged in pretty much the whole time because if I'm working on here if I post two or three items the battery is dead just because the battery on this specific phone is shot so what you want to do is go into your eBay you want to hit all the way to this side it says selling so there's home my eBay search notification and then there's selling hit selling and at the very top there's a thing that says list an item so you want to just hit list an item and there's a search bar like anywhere on Google on anything so I'm gonna search Atari flashback flash back classic game console and it came up flashback 6 no I think this is literally the original what is this Atari flashback classic so I'm just gonna search that there's different ones there's six there's eight there's seven um, I'm just going to search that and see if a picture comes up. So considering the condition of this, I'm going to have to say used. And it's taped up right now. I've never opened this. So I have no idea of the condition. If it's like not even in there, obviously I can't even post it because... Okay, condition to me. I'm going to put untested too because I'm not testing it. Looks really good. I'm going to say have to just on electronics like this used because it looks clearly like it was used okay uh, f that's it right there at the top the first one um, Atari flashback launch edition black console I, I think that's it it looks exactly the same so I'm in the used section I'm going to say sell yours and there's a picture of it already and okay so this item doesn't sell for much at all used it's telling me to start the bid at 230 and an average sale is 8 I don't even know like I know I'm going through this for you guys and for myself really so I even know what's going on but I don't even know if I want to even sell the I an item like this for for two dollars, I might just put ten. I'm just gonna put ten in the auction, um, and allow offers above five dollars. So if someone's like, you know, I'll give you whatever for it, uh, why not? I'll take it. Most likely, I'll take an offer below ten if it doesn't sell for a while. But that's all you do. You go into here, they have a generic picture, but I'm just going to use my own because I want people to know what mine looks like, not what one that might be online looks like. I want So I have the light tables and the light shining down, and I'm going to take a picture of the box with it open. I think that's the best 
Maybe not, actually. It's probably gonna just, since it's already out of the box, that picture didn't look very good. So I'm gonna take it out, set it up. So this is all over 10 bucks at this point. And this is what you gotta do every time. It takes time. Easy, but time consuming. And you could easily be, I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna sound like negative, but you could be easily at work making more money. So people that do eBay, hats off to them if they go hard. Because literally they're telling me to post this thing for two dollars. There it is. It looks way better than it does in the box. So I'm gonna take a picture and use this picture for this to, for the the f main picture. And then the one of it in the box is gonna just be part of it. I take that picture, I'm gonna take just one of just the main console and this one of the controllers up close. And then one of just these cords. I, they just I want to see what they're getting with it because then someone could look at the pictures and be like, well, not everything's included. And I, being someone that's never played this, would have no idea. So then someone could message you and be like, is everything included? And you can be like, I have no idea. What's there is there. You know, I've never played it personally. If you have played it and you know that not everything's there, you should put that in the description. Um, it's kind of how eBay works. It's just tell what it is, how it looks, and the condition of it, and, and so for the condition of the price. So here it is in the box. This sold for forty dollars originally. So I was thinking that I would get more than ten for it, or two for that matter. Take a picture of it up against the thing like that, which it actually looks really good like that. And always choose, look at the pictures that you took and choose the one that you would personally want to buy. So like if you have 10 pictures or five pictures or 12 pictures, 12 is the max, um, which one would draw you in? and make you want to buy it. So I'm going into the description right now, all the pictures are posted, um, the price is posted, the shipping's posted because I chose one that was similar. Okay, and the description is not tested, as is condition, and then I'm just going to say no returns. Because I haven't tested it and I don't want to have to get a return over it and it's as is condition. I mean on a lot of items I do this and it looks fine, it probably works. I could take the time to test it on a TV but for what it's listed at, for me personally, that's just a time waster um, when I could just be posting other stuff. So that, bam, done. That item's done. May never sell it on eBay, but at least it's up there for the world to see. And here I can put it on my posted shelf. So, well, not this lamp, but everything on this top shelf. That posted. This shelf posted. This shelf's posted. And then everything on that top shelf level there is posted. I'm realizing organization is key. And that's as easy as it is to post something on eBay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that or maybe learned something from it. Or anyone who's got cold feet about starting on eBay, I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, there's a whole world out there of people that might want the items that you have to offer. Um, I was going to post these county bonds, whatever they are, scripts. Not really sure what to see. I didn't want to use that as an example because I have no idea what to call it. Don't know if I'm going to find anything similar. Um, it's just easier if you have a generic item. It's better when you have a generic item that's listed already for a high price. So you already know it's worth money. You can list it even a little bit lower than other people maybe, but put it in an auction. Sometimes it's good too if you have no idea the price but you know it's worth money to just put it in an auction and not even put a buy it now price because who knows how high it could go. And this little thing, 
So it's part of a set. Not really sure what, but um, Transformer Mike suggested that I post this for 20. I'm actually going to post it right now. Before, I have never posted it yet. This was a month ago. He told me this, and I forgot about it. And actually, I just saw it on there. And let me see. We still have the text messages. Okay. Mangler Mountain from the Mangler Toy Line 1980s Toys. Ideal Toys. Inbox complete, it's 200, and it's just, it's a part to so sell for 20. That's what he said. So thank you for that advice, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to say untested to again, and 83 it says on it, ideal on the bottom, so he's right. So we're going to post this little dreamer for 20. Don't really know if we're going to get it, but we're going to try. Okay, the other one, the other item I just posted, the Atari thing, was... Probably the weight was on there because there was a similar item exactly the same. But the weight is not on this. So get a scale and weigh it, the item, and there it is. So it's 15 ounces. So I'm going to claim 16 ounces or, you know, a pound because the packaging is going to add weight to it. So weigh your item for sure, but don't take that for the exact weight add a tiny bit for tape packing peanuts uh you know bubble wrap the box and then calculate your weight on here it's really easy and it as soon as you put the weight and the width and everything get a measuring tape like i have right here and then you can measure it you know it's about nine and a half inches almost nine and a quarter so you're going to say at least 10 probably you're going to go to 11 because the box isn't going to be perfectly that size and then across it's like six so you say like six by 11 so i would say six by seven by 11 personally and say a pound at least all right the boy with his constant hookups dude you know where you gotta come he's giving me this dream Probably gonna sell. What is this? This is where you gotta come out one. <laughs> yeah. No way. You gotta take it to the range one day, dude. Trapping, trapping, trapping all night. Hey, stacking, 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 stacking all right. Oh. Are you locked and loaded? Nah, it's not loaded. Safety first, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a real gun? Oh, yeah. What's up with the dog? Baby girl. Who doesn't have a sector nine? Wait. All right, our boy Rob, um, he gave us his saw, and I don't know, I think we can get some some bills for it, and he told us about a mini claim right here. A little scrap dreamer claim. All these are just good for scrap, boys. What are we looking at? Belt sander, saw, two screw guns, another saw. So this was a decent little score. Just thanks to the boy again. There's a lot of tools, huh? This whole box is going? I should never have taken this. What, this? I am not man. Yeah. The tool man? No. I don't watch TV anyway, but yeah. No. You jog with my son? Jog? My son's always jogging. No. I went to Miami to know it's jog when he's jogging. I'll take all this stuff. Thank you. Alright, all this glorious stuff. That pile and that pile.
Yeah. And we're at one seat too. I'm like, put these on nine. Okay. Here's. It's ink. What is this? Ink for my printer? Yeah, but no. I don't think I could use that for No, anything. I have a printer. Alright. You want this shit too? I have a car lifts even. On the side of the garage. I have those yellow things you put your bar up. Do you want these? No, I don't want any. This is copper. This is copper. This is copper. And this is copper. As one was a plumber. Those ramps? Yeah, they're expensive. I do. I get as a mechanic. He's a investor. He's always traveling. A what? An investor. With this is Rob's friend. The guy that runs the garage. This is his friend. They're taking his stuff. All right. Got all this stuff today. Well, not everything in here, but all this today. So a lot of this is scrap, but that lady was a, w a little wild and she just kept like pushing stuff on us. So just going to throw a lot of the metal into the scrap claim box. And then I'm going to lay out some of the tools right here or up there and see if they work because the cord's already plugged in. All right. So I'm deciding on a situation here. These three work. That works. I'm assuming most of these work, and some of them I can't even test. I'm thinking about just posting a lot of them for like 40 bucks, everything. And it's just straight up trash. Trash. I'm thinking about just posting a lot of them for 30 bucks. That's, no, 40. Take 30. Post for 40. A lot of those tools. All right. Whew. About ready to go to sleep. Just wanted to say, like I was saying earlier, never stop hunting. You got to always be on the hunt. We found later in the day a bunch of tools. Rob gave us that stall, told us to go hunt down the street, went in the trash, ended up in the garage. Got about $50 worth of tools, I think give or take maybe 30 to 50 um, if all sold off so that was worth it and you know the treasure hunting continues every day so uh, good news on the skateboard not gonna even say what the offer is but we're definitely gonna sell it probably tomorrow if not tomorrow in the next few days so that's a heavy claim and then I'm gonna make a video explaining all that but the dream continues every day and we're pushing, trying to make, trying to make, make the claim, trying to make a living doing this stuff for doing it and, you know, just do what you love and everything will work out. That's the claim. So good night everyone and we'll see you tomorrow morning Phew, for some more claims. Sammy J. And good night or good morning. Did you have to yell at your son? Here, he's being big. He's chasing he's being sissy being around. Where is he? What you doing? Chasing around sissy? Yeah. <laughs>